Hello everyone. Welcome to my new video in the series Simple Steps in Stata. This is going to be video number 16 and we have come a long way. Um, now, um, in the previous video, we talked about quantile regression. Um, in this video, I'm going to focus more on endogeneity issues. Um, endogeneity is a problem which could make your regression results coming from uh, OLS a uh, bit biased and invalid. Um, so if you want to know more about endogeneity or you are not even familiar with endogeneity so you can just write in the chat box i'm happy to develop a specific video just to focus on endogeneity but uh, in this video we are just going to look at um, how to test and detect endogeneity in your data the one thing if you have looked at several papers that uh, the authors what they do they talk about endogeneity the theoretical perspective and there are mostly three common sources of endogeneity and most of the times you'll see that authors are going to just talk about those endogeneity errors and then they will assume that their data structure data may have endogeneity error without providing any specific test to actually see whether those assumptions are true or not um, so state actually gives you some very specific test and today we are going to see one uh, so the focus for today is uh, omitted variable bias which is one of the source of endogeneity problem what it says that if you have developed an empirical model and you have selected variables the, how you can be sure that you have included all the important variables that can explain the variations in the dependent variable um, sometimes it is quite impossible to uh, confirm that you you have developed an empirical model which has covered everything uh, so instead of assuming whether you have or have not included all important variables in your empirical model you can ask stata to run some tests to tell you whether your model have included or it has missed some important variables to do that you have to just first uh, just run the regression with all the dependent independent and control variable so you run you can put your clustering you can put your uh, uh, industry gear fixed effect i'm just trying to keep it simple just run the regression so you see this is the results coming from your pool ols in uh, i am using a panel data structure and most of the videos i'm using a panel data uh, in this case in, to make these videos so now to see whether this regression has any omitted variable bias you simply ask stata to run this test o v t e s t and i'm going to put all these uh, commands in the description you can use that but it's simple you just type o v t e s t click enter and it will run the ramsey reset test using power of the fitted variable um, so there is a whole way of calculating all these things if you are interested and want to know more how stata comes up with those calculation you can always read it from the internet i'm not going to complicate things i'm just going to as the video implies showing the simple steps and you can see this test has a null hypothesis which says model has no omitted variable uh, in this case, our probability is more than 0 0.05. In this case, you cannot omit or you cannot reject the null hypothesis. So you accept the null, which indicate our model has no omitted variable. If the score is, the p-value is less than 0.5, which will indicate that you reject the null and the alternate means that your alternative hypothesis is your empirical model has omitted variable problem so you see without 
performing this test do not just simply assume that you have omitted variable problem in your empirical model and just simply go and apply so many different types of sophisticated analysis to control for endogeneity if you don't have endogeneity problem why you need to run endogeneity corrected regression just ask yourself that so i hope this video is useful for you to at least look at the first source of endogeneity which is uh, omitted variable bias and i am going to create two more videos to show you how to test for the other two sources uh, one of them is reverse causality and then you have measurement errors um, so hope you will have a look at those videos also and you enjoyed this current video and you have a wonderful day bye